Indian drone manufacturer Cadet Defence Systems has won an export order for its 300 km range jet-powered aerial target drone from several friendly foreign countries. The Indian Army has recovered encrypted Chinese ultraset communications gear from Pakistani terrorists in JNK. Prime Minister Modi will visit Russia in July for the annual India-Russia summit, marking his first visit to the country in five years. After the K5 and K6 SLBM, the DRDO might be developing advanced SLBMs like the K7 and K8, pushing the strike range to 12,000 km. Despite an collective order for 10 tapas drones by the Indian Air Force and Navy, the Indian Army is yet to place an order, which was initially expected to be the largest operator with 60 units. A new report by Sapri has claimed, that India might have begun a practice known as mating, which is storing nuclear warheads with their delivery systems during peacetime, that significantly reduces the warning time before a potential nuclear launch. India might be planning further tests of the anti-satellite missile, that could involve more challenging targets, potentially electronic moving objects. The vendor of an Indo-Russian company that manufactures AK-203 rifles in India, has filed a petition in the Delhi High Court, alleging unfair removal from the bidding process of a 12,000 crore rupees contract to supply close-quarter battle carbines to the Indian Army. Comments recently made by top US Air Force leaders have suggested that the service is having second thoughts on its approach to acquire the sixth-generation stealth aircraft known as next-generation air dominance aircraft, mainly due to new advancements in technologies and budget uncertainty. Boeing has said that it is confident of its F-15EX making the final cut in the 114 MRFA competition, and this confidence stems from significant improvements and its impressive capabilities, that includes a top speed of Mach 2.5, which is equivalent to 3,100 km per hour, a payload capacity to carry 30,000 pounds of weapons, making it the most heavily armed fighter in the world. At a time when India and the US have been discussing joint production of various military equipment including the Stryker and Abrams X, latest reports indicate that India and the US also held discussions on the co-production of American Javelin Man portable anti-tank missiles in India, that has proven to be a pivotal asset in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. It has a range of 4 kilometers, and can also be equipped on the Stryker unmanned ground vehicles and other platforms. After successful testing of the Rudram-1 anti-radiation missile from its Su-30 aircraft, Indian Air Force is now exploring the integration of the Rudram-1 missile onto the Rafale and Tejas Mark 1A, as the Indian Air Force desires a wider deployment strategy for this sophisticated weapon. Under a 300 crore rupees order placed in September 2023 for 100 robotic dogs for emergency procurement, Indian firm AeroArc Private Limited is all set to deliver first batch of 25 units to the Army, that has been manufactured under the license of US firm Ghost Robotics. They are equipped with thermal cameras and other sensors, which enable them to carry out surveillance, and it can be integrated with small arms, and can carry small loads to frontline soldiers. Hindustan Aeronautics is awaiting the Air Force's decision on the desired cargo carrying capacity for the medium transport aircraft program, and upon receiving this information, HAL is prepared to conduct feasibility studies for the local development of a medium transport aircraft class aircraft. HAL is also in talks with established foreign manufacturers to explore licensing agreements for discontinued or stalled transport aircraft designs, as this strategy offers viable alternatives to the Indian Air Force in a shorter time frame. Today's top 3 comments. <laughs>